Yo, yo, bad influence, check it out, MC Crane, kick it one time. I'm sorry, we will have some proper music on the program this week from Brooklyn. A bad influence. A bad influence. I'll be finding out how to turn one bad influence presenter into another. And our main game review this week is Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy. Violet! Yeah? Violet, you're on! You what? Oops, getting a bit carried away here with this, the new Nigel Mansell freewheel. You plug it into your driving sim instead of a joystick, and it's just attached by a thin wire. This game I'm playing, Nigel Mansell's World Championship, actually recommends using the freewheel for extra realism. When I steer with it, the hands on the steering wheel on screen move in exactly the same way as me, and I use these two buttons to slow up and speed up. As well as that, you can choose to do manual gears, and you change the gears then by sort of flicking the wheel backwards and forwards, which is really difficult to do and steer at the same time. Mind you, if you like driving sims, you'll love this. Oh, and the helmet's optional. Our main game review this week is Super Mario Land 2 on the Game Boy, the biggest and hottest Game Boy title of the year, starring everybody's favourite plumber. But all is not well for our hero. All the creatures in Mario Land have been turned against him by the evil Wario. To the rescue, here comes Alex. I give this game full marks. It's a great little adventure. The thing I like about it is the enhanced graphics. It's a lot better than the original one. This is the Mario map. You can choose to go anywhere from here which means you can go through the game in any order you like. OK, this is the Hippo bonus level. There's lots to do on this level. The main object of, the, of this level is to get into his bubble. I've just lost my bubble, which means that all your power-ups have been taken away. There's three main types of power-up on Super Mario. The first one is his mushroom, which turns him into Super Mario. The second one is the fire flower, which means you can fire things. And the third one is the carrot, which means you turn into Bunny Ears Mario and you can fly around the levels. I've just got the fire flower now and I'm firing and I can shoot the baddies. Just shot... Just shot this bird. And then I go on to finish the level. One of the best things about Super Mario 2 is you can save the game, which means you can start wherever you like. I buy this game. It's the fastest and best game I've ever seen on the Game Boy. My only criticism is, it's a little bit easy and I did get to the last level. This is really fresh and fun. It's a really good game for the Game Boy and I'd like to see it in colour. It looks good for an LCD screen. It's got some good puzzles but the scrolling could be smoother. It's just a bit too much like Super Mario Land 1. And so to the final scores for Super Mario Land 2. The boys gave it an excellent 4 out of 5 and the girls liked it too. 4 out of 5 from them. We're getting a lot of letters to the Bad Influence office at the moment, which is great. Thanks, keep coming in. It's nice to uh, hear what you have to say. And we're getting a lot like this one. This is from Jenny Smith, who lives at King Edward Avenue, Hastings and East Sussex. Hi, Jen. She says, Dear Andy and Violet, I'm getting fed up of watching computer shows that don't even mention my computer. And I know you've got an Atari ST. Well, we do have one here in the studio. And if you're an ST owner, look out for some software reviews for you in later programmes. There is a particular application, however, that this computer is well suited to. Music. The sound of the rhythm coming to ya Face vibrations move right through ya Check the controls as we start to swing Sound so good you can't help but start to shake that thing In the place on the dance floor We know the funky music's what you're looking for And here it is, can't you see? It can oh, never be a bad woo! influence on oh, me Short was sweet, these guys are Brooklyn That's their brand new single, or at least part of it The single's called Bad Influence Welcome to the programme How do you doing, Andy? Uh, nice of you to name your single after us, Jerome We're very pleased Well, actually, Andy, we didn't name the single we after didn't. you No, we got oh. the name from uh, some slang that's used in the States by young rappers So bad actually means good, so it's good influence and not bad influence Well, we like the title, though Can, can we borrow it, do you think? Uh, no, I don't think so I think you can just get off now, thank you very much Just clear off on your way Kevin's in the band too. Hi. He plays the keyboard and he also produces the music. And I was saying the Atari is well suited to music. How and why, Kevin? Well, it certainly is because it's the only computer with MIDI. What's MIDI? MIDI is Musical Instrument Digital Interface. And what does that do? Well, that means that with a so software sequencing package, such as this one, yeah. and this computer, I can talk to all these keyboards and tell them what to do from here. All right, show us how it works then. Right, OK. Well, I put some, uh, I put some kick drums in. You, you put them in, I see. Yeah. 
what I can do then is I can take that bar and copy it over as many times as I like. That's 16 bars of there drums there. 16 bars of bass drums there. That so. sounds like this. Straight kick. Fair enough, yeah, but it right. needs a bit of melody to make That's it a bit right. more interesting, yep. doesn't it? So, I'll just take that over enough. Oh, you put that organ in already. Do you always use the mouse to put the notes into the computer? No, not at all. What I'll do now is record Mark on that keyboard. So you can actually play live in as well. So. Oh, it's a bit of a duff note there. Does he have to do that again? No. Oh, there's the, the duff note. one. Yeah, and I can change that. That's, was that? It's incredible, and presumably, in the same way as you reproduce the drum notes, you can reproduce that bar and put it all the way through. Yep. But when it's all finished, what does it sound like? Well, it's getting there, it sounds like this. That's Mark's bit. And it's corrected as well, so we didn't have the drum right. note in there, which is terrific. It makes me think, what is there left for human beings to do? This does it all for you. No, it doesn't, because this is just a very useful tool. Um, you're only limited by your imagination, really. You have to think of all the idea is first to put them into that and then move them around. Yeah, it's an incredible bit of stuff, but it isn't creative, is it? No. Thank you for showing it to me. I may go away and record my own single on it shortly. Right. In fact, that's a competition prize if you fancy uh, winning yourself a chance to go, all expenses paid, to the studios in Manchester where Brooklyn record and record your own single. You can. Um, the guys will help you write the single, they'll record it, they'll play on it for you, and you'll end up with a load of copies that you can give to your mates for Christmas. To enter, all you've got to do is listen to five clips of music we'll play to you at the end of the programme. They're from games, identify the games, write them on a postcard or a stuck-down envelope, and send them to us at our usual Bad Influence address. There is, in fact, a short version of uh, the single Bad Influence by Brooklyn on the cassette single that comes free with your copy of Bad Influence magazine, which is available now. And if you would like the full-length version, that'll be in your record shops by next week. Want to know what it sounds like? Take it away, Atari. I mean, guys, I mean Brooklyn, I'm sorry. Like I said, here it is, a fresh new dawn. Designed in a line to keep you moving on and on. To a new dimension, a brand new state where love... This is a cheat for Premiere, a funky game on the Amiga. Yeah. This will give you infinite lives. This is Namru saying it ain't no jives. When the title screen shows on your TV, you've got to type in some words as quick as can be. Now I know all the pokes, peaks and bugs, so in this game type in spark plugs. <laughs> The screen now flashes and it's a cert. You beat the game and you won't get hurt. Now I've got to go and put me air in curlers. So on your way, slimy furtlers. Hmm, rapper Nam the Man there. There's lots of software around that enables you to play music on your home computer. This one's called Boombox. It lets you put down sound to make your own, your own dance track. I'll show you. Go into jam mode and play the track again. And we can change the synth, synths here. Got a new tune there, change the bass, change the drums. It's got a new track. And you can also play sample sounds in, like this. Boombox is available for the Amiga and PC and costs around 40 quid. Well, I think that's quite enough of that. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Andy. Now for this week's news and previews. No, this isn't Crime Watch, but pay attention, floppy disk users. Last week, police seized over £100,000 worth of pirated discs from a market in Leeds and five men were arrested for alleged offences under the Copyright Act. A blank disc costs under a pound and a disc with a game on it can cost about £30, so it can be very tempting for anybody to copy games onto discs from a friend, a bulletin board or anything. The simple message is, don't do it. It's just as illegal to copy one game as it is to copy thousands. No limits. No mercy, no surrender. Well, that's what the blurb says about Strider 2. It's a sequel to the original coin-up conversion and coming out on the Mega Drive, Master System and Game Gear next spring. Strider must use his plasma sword and new lethal shuriken to overcome an array of fiendish enemies such as mutant soldiers and hostile plants. To get the weed killer ready. Well, it finally arrived. After all the hype, two days ago it was Sonic Tuesday. Unless you live in Plymouth. In which case, Sonic Tuesday became Sonic Friday because some retailers were selling this five days before Sonic Tuesday, which rather made a mockery of the fantastically crafted international worldwide simultaneous launch of the mammal, didn't it? <laughs> 